Today we're going to unbox, discuss, and style a brand new Gabor coming up. This wig style was sent to me by Wig Studio One so I could review it for you today. Be sure to check it out. All of the links are below the video in the description section. If you expand the description box, you will find a direct link. If you click on that link, it will take you out to the site where you can see all of the colors and pricing on this style. We invite you to shop at Wig Studio One. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. And don't forget to visit us on our private Facebook group called the Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. All of those links are also below. The style that I'm presenting today is the brand new Gabor's Mod About You in the color Soft Shades Sandy Blonde, which is GL1422. So let's get started. Now this is a part of the Gabor's Luxury Collection. And that means that there's some upgraded cap features here. We're expecting some nice monofilament features. Important to note that this is made from the flex light fiber. This is not heat friendly. This is the flex light fiber. You will also find the flex light fiber colors available. So all of the well-known traditional Gabor colors on this style. <clears throat> now here is what it looks like right out of the box. Still a little bit of a weave pattern there. Nice choppy, soft waves some really nice texture here as well although it's a bit blunt cut i can see a little bit of texturizing on the ends so let's go ahead and look at the underside of this cap so i'm loving the monofilament on this cap a temple to temple extended lace front so that goes halfway back to the ear tab it's nicely contoured it moves seamlessly back into an extended left monofilament side part you can definitely see through to the illusion of scalp through this fiber. It's very finely knotted right there at the front. And then we have a velvet ear tab with long sturdy stays. I'm expecting some nice coverage from that. An extended felted nape with Velcro style adjusters. Lots of wefting here. We're going to assess the fit as soon as I uh, apply it. It does seem to have quite a bit of stretch, so we're going to check that out after I remove the tags. This cap is really a nice average sized cap, true average. That means anywhere from 21 and a half to 22 and a half. You can probably get another half inch adjustment either way uh, just by working with the built-in adjusters. I am going to have to remove this and make an adjustment to the Velcro adjusters. This to accommodate my 21 and a quarter inch circumference. A short to mid length, softly waved bob style. And I'm looking at it here I was expecting more of an angle on the cut and I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing that it's about the same length all the way around, although there are some layers here that kind of bring out that choppiness. And it's more of a blunt cut, don't you think? According to what we saw from the outside in the unboxing and application, we've got a nice blunt cut, but like I say, it is a little bit texturized on the end, so I think it's very modern and up to date. So that front piece there is going to be about nine and a half inches. Now already, I sense that um, it is a bit floppy in the face. I think it's it just comes in and it's going to crowd the face. Now, that's just my preference to have it away from the face. Um, I do believe that as it divides right out and around that left mono part, that you can see that it coils out and around the eyes. That will help keep it out of the face somewhat here. So um, I am just a person that I'll, I'll probably have to put this back or I could elect to trim in a bang, which I have done on styles like this before. So just a shorter fringe or a straight across bang, I think would work beautifully if you have the skills. If not, 
take it to your stylist. This one has all of the traditional flex like colors available, such as what I'm here wearing here, which is the GL1422 SS. It's a combination of some gold blondes and some ash blondes, but overall a nice light creamy blend that is neutral leaning warm. Now soft shades. What soft shades means is that you have a slightly darker root that blends out into the main color gradually. And I think the transition is very nice on this one. Sometimes I can see a more of a brassy colored root on this color. And on this one, it doesn't seem to be as apparent. It just gives a nice little shadow of a root there very very subtle and beautiful so again right around 12 inches all the way around and again features that uh, lace front left monofilament part let's take a look at that lace front up close so we're looking at an extension back into the ear tab which gives very nice coverage and gives you off of the face styling options. And that lace front is really nicely done with fine knotting. They do bring that uh, light ash blonde highlight right up to that lace front, which I love. Now you see that zigzag part going on there. We're gonna take care of that by breaking it up. All right. Some zigzag parts are more stubborn than others. This one seemed to have come apart pretty well. And it's really taking nicely to the heat from my hand, just my repetitive motion here to get this, to get this and keep this out of the face. Wow. Now I have to say that if you're a fan of the Soft and Subtle by Gabor, that was one that it kind of helped, it kind of laid limp around the face. And I had trouble with those front pieces on that piece. This one acts a little bit differently. There's, I can coax out a little bit of contour off of that lace front there. And it looks, it looks nice and it tends to stay out of the face a little more. So the more I work with this, the more impressionable it becomes for me. And I like a set, that subtle feather off of that lace front with these fibers. In terms of density, this is an average density, I would say. I would not call it a light density, nor is it too much fiber. I just think it's a really nice, natural looking density. So in terms of permatease, you are gonna find a moderate amount of permatease right around that monofilament I'm sensing in the back and uh, some right there at the nape to sustain the style. It's not an overwhelming amount of permatease. I find it to be very tolerable. So the more that I work with this style, the more feathery and wispy it becomes. You can see where it's woken up very easily. Each one of the fibers is silky and fine. It has a feathery texture and movement to it. It separates nicely, so it doesn't tend to clump together uh, like a heavier density uh, heat-friendly fiber would. The movement is beautiful. It has exquisite body to it probably brought on by that blunt cut and that gentle wave. So I'm really, this one is growing on me quite a bit. I'm really liking it despite the longer front pieces. Let's start with glasses. Okay. So despite the fact that there's some permatease there at the ear tab, I feel like this is a good wig for glasses. Um, between the ear and the ear tab, it feels very nice and secure.